This is Master Theory Book 1, Lesson 5. We're going to talk about whole half quarter notes. Uh, in whole half and quarter notes, this is the uh, pretty common uh, American way, where actually many countries use this uh, way to call notes. But in British ways, they are different system. We'll talk about that later. Right. So a whole note is a donut looking note. It can be changed into other kinds of note. So for example, if you add a stem to the whole note, it becomes a half note. Fill in the whole notes and add a stem and it becomes a quarter note. If you color it, then it becomes a quarter note. In either club, stems go up for all notes that below the third line. So if you have lower notes, you will be easier to read the notes if the stems go up and it's on the right side of the note. And the stems will go down for all notes on the third lines or above. That way, when you write a high note and the tail and the stem, uh, it will be uh, more appropriately placed so you won't disturb other st space between uh, the staff lines. So just remember that rule. If it's middle line, usually the stem is going on the left down, but it does have exceptions. If you have a bunch of notes in the future with beans uh, that are all kind of higher and B got caught get caught in the middle, then you can draw the, uh, the stamp up, but we're gonna talk about that exception later. Stamps going up are attached to the right side of all notes, and stamps going down are attached to the left side of all notes, just like that. All right, let's do some exercise. Write four half notes. So we're gonna draw a note first, and then put a stem on the right. You can also do another one that looks like that. Or yes. Number two, write six quarter notes. Quarter note needs to have a color circle like this. So you can write one and make sure the stem is super straight. Two. And you can do this way. Four, four, five. Make sure don't write your quarter note like this, like a lollipop. So um, yeah, write it neatly. Make sure the stems are either on the right up or left down. Number three, which direction will the stem go for treble clef B? Here, they mean the B inside the staff because if you are more advanced, you will know there are many Bs on the staff. But they're talking about the B that looks like <clears throat> here, this B. So B is right in the middle, right? So we talked about that earlier. The stems will go down for all nodes on the third lines or above. So here, the stem will go down. Number four, which direction will the stem go for base club C? If it's in base club, where is C? Base club, the C will be right here on the second space. Now, if it's lower than the third line, the stem's going to go up. So the answer is Lesson six is the review. So we're gonna go through them. Uh, I would strongly encourage you to pause the video and to do all the work on your own before you hear the answer. So it'd be the best that you go through the first line and then, and then pause and start to play the video and check if your answers are correct. So you can pause at each line to check the answer. 
I'm not gonna count them back and forth like a, every note. I'm just gonna write the answers real quick because they are pretty straightforward. Here we go. A, B, C, coming down C, B, A, G, G, F, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, going up to D, E, and then keep going to F. Now it's coming down a lot of notes. So F, E, D, C, B, and then C. Next slide. Write the letter name under each half note. So this is G, and I'm going to count G, A, B, C, C, D, E, E, F, G, A, A going down. So the letter before A is G, G going down F, E, D, C, B. B going up, B, C, D, E, F. F coming down, F, E, D, C, D, A. And then A going up, A, B, C, D, E. These right here. I know they look kind of confusing. All right, going down, E, D, C, B. A, G, going up, G, A, B, C, B, and then D going up again is E. Now, next slide. So if you haven't written number three by yourself, you should write it first before you check the answer with me. I'm gonna quickly write right through it, D, G, F, B, D, G, F, F, lower F, higher F, A, E, F. Next line. A, G, F, G, A, 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 G, 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 a, C, C. On this one, it actually asks you to write a letter name on the, the, these mixed notes, sing and use letter names or Lu or La. So um, when we have quarter notes in the setting of four, four, it should be counted as one beat. In a half note will be called two beats. You have to stop for two beats. So the song here is actually Mary Had a Little Lamb. It's A, G, F, G, A, 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 G, 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 A, C, C. All right. Now, next one is, again, if you have a written number five, write it before you check answer with me. It's going to be A, G, F, G, A, 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 G, G, A, G, F. Number six, finish before you check answer with me. All right, write this four notes. So G, the first one is triple clock G. So the next one will be A, so it's going up here. B is the next one on going up. B, C, D. So I'm just skip a no, right? So I'm going to go B, C, and then D is going to be here. D, E, F. So I have to skip, and F is here. F going down, F, E going down. So it's the very next note coming down. So it's here. Then you move on to D which is the very next note below it. So it's gonna be C here, going down to the fourth line. D, 
E going down to C, another step down. Now going to E, so E is C going up to D and then E. So it's gonna be C, E, and then E. The next one is F, so going up to the fifth line. Here, going down to A will be F, E, D, C, B, A. Or there's another answer you can write, but we haven't talked about that yet. It's the ledger line to put it on top. We'll add that later. Now, G, the very last one is G. So it's going to be here because it's trip clef, which is also G clef. Number seven, write these half notes. Watch the stamps. All right. So that means make sure that the stamps goes to the right direction. Now, the first one is G, and the next one is A. So we're going to go up to the very next note. The stem is going up. And then A, B is the very next line note. D is, ooh, so D is on the third line. So I'm going to grade out a stamp. The next one is F, which is the fourth line note. And then E is coming down a step, a note, and then D is again here. So still going down. C is the very next note going counting down. So stem is going up here. And then going up again, C, D, E. So line, uh, space, line, space. So it's going to be here and the stem will go down. And then the next one is F. So F is here. A is coming down. F, E, D, C, B, A here for space. No, so stem is going up. And then G is the very next note below that. Done. All right. The last one, write the quarter notes. Watch the stamps. So the first note is E in triple clef. And the next note they ask you to write is G. So you're going to go E, F, G here. And they ask for a quarter note. So you're going to draw it like that. G, A, B. So G, A, B is right here. And because it's the third line, so I'm going to bring this in down on the left. B, C, D. So D is right here. And then E is in the very next one. And then C is coming down and skip D, E, D, C. So it's going to be third line, the third space. I'm sorry. And then keep coming down C, B, A. So A is right here. And then we'll go down to F, so A, G, F. And then F going up to G, so going to the very next note, no matter line or space. Last three, G, A, B. And because it's on a third line, so our stamp's gonna go down. <clears throat> And then the next one is D. So B, C, D. Stem goes down because the notes are high. The next one is F. So D, E, F. Stem goes down. Great job. We'll talk about lesson seven in our next video.